Hello and welcome to Media Rumble, I'm Chris, and last weekend Finding Dory came out in the UK. This is the sequel to Finding Nemo which came out in 2003 and it sees the return of Ellen DeGeneres and Albert Brooks as the two main characters Dory and Marlon. And they're on a mission, a mission to find Dory's family which she has seemingly forgotten where she left them. So 2003 was a long time ago, 13 years to be exact, and a lot of things have happened in those 13 years. There have been a lot of changes, but one thing that hasn't changed is the love for Pixar. And since Finding Nemo came out, Pixar's had quite a, a mixed result with sequels, with Toy Story 3 coming in at 92 on Metacritic, whereas Cars 2 comes in at 57% and I had real hopes that this movie wouldn't disappoint me and it definitely didn't. Unlike many sequels to much loved films, Finding Dory tries its best to move away from the moments which made Finding Nemo all that more memorable. However, one similarity to Finding Nemo is that it brings in lots of different animals to help Marlon and Dory along on their journey. Two of the standout characters for me were Idris Elba and Ty Burrell who come in and really made an impact, they were hilarious, and their interactions with other characters were also fantastic. One thing that brings this movie down for me is that it's a sequel to a movie that came out 13 years ago, and that can't be helped, and that fact will always work against the film unless it blows the previous film out of the water. But even if it's just as good as the original, nostalgia is always going to make that film seem a lot better than the sequel. I'm not really one to give out scores because I don't feel it's fair, but overall, I feel that this is a movie that the whole family will love. So I recommend that you go and see it, and see for yourself if it's actually going to stand up against Finding Nemo. So what do you think about sequels that come out quite a long time after the original? Do you think they're necessary? And does it actually make you want to see the original again? So like this video and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out everything else I've done. I guarantee you'll almost like it. I'm Chris, and thanks for watching.